The one they call general, he inspects the adults for money or contraband. I am the only child. And the radio, it knows who I am. So the play is basically, it's a semi-autobiographical piece. It basically charts a kid's journey out of Uganda during the beginnings of the Idi Amin era. It's something that was basically an escape, but seen through the eyes of a child. It's dressed up as like a journey to his grandparents' um, house or village, but he doesn't realize that his mum has actually come back from the UK to sort of kidnap him to freedom, basically. <laughs> The immigrant is, seems to be a, a buzzword or a, a word that's misunderstood. And uh, I guess one of the things that we realised in the making of this is that at what point does a person leaving their country become the other? And a lot of times um, the word immigrant has been thrown around as a bad word. And you know, in these harsh situations, people don't choose to be the immigrant. We wanted to kind of put the audience or the reader in that perspective of the journey of the other and the, percep the perceptions that people have of the other. And that's what we hope the story opens out. What Nick has written is like a really fantastic showcase in a way for an actor to kind of explore their versatility. So Sule was performing various characters that kind of appear within the story, but also playing different variations, I guess, of the character Nick at the age of four and as an adult, kind of uh, telling the story of this journey, but also questioning his own identity as an adult now. Fast bursts, then moments of clarity. When you look at yourself in the river, does it even show you a man? We wanted to explore different states of darkness, not just darkness as we see it as, a, as almost a color, but also darkness of emotion, darkness of space and darkness in many ways is, is one of the key characters in the play. We thought it would be really interesting to think about what darkness does to an audience member psychologically, because we're so used to sitting in a theatre and it going dark, but what happens when we ask the audience to close their eyes and create their own darkness and to find a way to kind of imagine their way into the story. Displacement and migration is a real hot topic at the moment. I think people will sort of assess their situations and hopefully either realise how lucky they might be to be in the situations that they are or how easily that their situations can change and they could become um, the child that's the subject matter in this.